Okay, so I want to talk about this short foot position. Specifically, what this is first, or foot, short foot or tripod foot position, is essentially bearing weight to the first med head, the third, the fifth med head, and the in the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. So one way to cue short foot is to bring is literally having the person bring their try to work on bringing their their um, first med head toward the calcaneus, and that may work for some. However, I think the best way to do this is to do an external cue. And this is why that cue for squatting works so well or deadlift, you know, to, to screw the feet into the ground or pull the ground apart with your feet. Because you can see as soon as I screw my foot into the ground, I've instantly generated a much more, <clears throat> more stable arch and a shorter foot position. So if you look at this here versus if I just let it come forward, you can see how much longer my foot gets versus here. And why this is important is because <clears throat> this generates a, a powerful feed forward loop whereby as soon as I tension up these, all the joint capsules in the joints of the foot, I've, I'm sending that message up to the brain that this is a stable position, it's a safe position, and one that I can get a ton of neural outflow and generate a lot of power from that stable position. Just like we talked about how, how grip training is so important because of that inner irradiation or that neural overflow, I think the same thing happens with this short foot position <clears throat> in the lower extremity. So by generating a, such a powerful here, now we've got more contraction in the glutes, the abdominals, and the whole lower extremity, which then feeds forward through the foot and back up. As soon as we destabilize that with a collapsed arch, now we've lost that control, lost that power generation. My foot's much longer and it has much more inability, to, much less ability to control um, my lower extremity. So what this also brings to light really then is the dynamic nature of the foot and this, this whole notion of flat foot. While certainly you can blow through this, the passive restraints, the plantar fascia, to the point where there is no return, and this is completely stuck at, in a Pez planus position. The thing we really need to keep in mind is that this is a dynamic position. We've got to be able to generate a lot of power here. And so these people that are flat-footed often have no proximal control and have no idea what a short foot position is. And so that brain is constantly down-regulating force output because... If I, if I move in this position, now my knee is in a valgus position, and I just can't generate any force, so the brain is like, we're not going to produce force here. You're going to blow your knee out. So we've, we, by, by reinforcing that positive feedback, we can get a lot more, a lot more stability and ultimately a lot more power.